How's it going there, guys? Rain of Iron from Devil Kid Productions here to um, give my take on the whole uh, EA controversy that's going on. And uh, the title of this video is, of course, EA, what are you guys doing? Basically because I have no idea what they're doing. They've got all this stuff going on and I just, I don't, I don't understand what they're doing. I, I just don't. I have not... I have not been a fan of EA for a very long time now, and uh, apparently with Battlefront 2, everyone's in an uproar about it, and I understand why. Because of their greed, and they think that the entire world revolves around money, so they're basically pickpocketing their, you know, loyal fans who have bought their games over the years, and now EA is finally paying for it. So this is my take on EA. We're going to look at the good, the bad, and the ugly. Of course, we all know what the ugly is already. But there is some good. And we're going to get to that. So let's start with the good. The good is, overall, Battlefront 2 is still a fun game to play. To me, at least. I haven't spent any money on loot box crates, and I still find myself having a blast playing the game at times. Now... A lot of people don't like to grind, but I personally don't mind it. And some of my favorite game modes are Heroes vs. Villains. I also really like the uh, Starfighter Assault. It's my favorite game mode. Probably because they didn't have it in the first game, and that was one of my biggest knocks on the first game. I mean, what's Star Wars without space battles? You know, and the campaign, it's alright. It's nothing to brag about. I've played better, I've played worse. And of course, if you have a friend and you just want to mess around uh, playing some Star Wars, there's always arcade mode. So that's about the only good I can think of in Battlefront 2 or in EA in general right now is the fact that they actually brought in some space battles and the gameplay is not terrible, but it always it still comes back to the loot boxes and we will get to that. Now on to the bad, and for the bad, I'm going to go to EA Sports, specifically Madden, and uh, well, really any game that they've come out with in the last five years at least. With the exception of Battlefield 1 and of course Battlefield 4, I love Battlefield games, but we're going to look at EA and its sports games. Now Madden in particular really upsets me sometimes simply because it's the same game every year sure they might do one extra mechanic here or there but it's basically the same game every year with a cover with a new cover art you're basically paying sixty dollars for a new roster and that's about it you know and it, it it gets it gets to the point where you can see that it's almost like they don't even care anymore they don't even care uh, about what they're doing and, uh, you know, I, I know FIFA has been doing pretty well in sales, but UFC 3 has, uh, are, people who have already played the demo say that UFC 3 is already pay to win. And if a game hasn't even come out yet, and people are already saying it's pay to win, that's EA just proving to you right there that they don't care. All they care about is making money. And some of the worst things about Madden that, in my opinion, is I understand now why they put Mad in Madden. Not just because of John Madden, but simply because there's been several times when I've been playing the game, watching other people play, that stuff just happens that really isn't supposed to happen. It's kind of weird sometimes, you know? It, it, it's supposed to be football, and yet to me, it doesn't feel like football. Just to prove a point, I wanted to let you know if you thought that was Madden 18 I was playing, it was not. It was actually Madden 17. How many of you people out there actually thought I was playing Madden 18? Just goes to show you what I'm talking about. You couldn't even tell the difference. And last, we have the ugly. And everyone knew it was going to be this. Loot crates. Every EA game seems to have loot crates now. It seems like it started a little while back. Madden was one of the first games to have 
the whole loot crate system. It was in the Madden Ultimate Team, which I do not play. And then it happened with Battlefield, and very casually, they just started putting it in every single game. I don't, I don't think you can remember the last time you actually played an EA game where they had, did not have microtransactions. Even Mass Effect 3 had microtransactions. It is getting out of hand, and that's why I decided to make this video. I give DICE a pass on Battlefield 4 and also 1, because I'm a huge Battlefield fan, and Battlefield games are fun even without having to buy loot crates. I've never bought a single loot crate a day in my life. I'm a grinder. I'm used to grinding, but a lot of people out there are not. So EA, I'm going to ask you, what are you doing? You are making a lot of people mad, you're losing a lot of money, and you don't seem to want to change. You're going to end up losing your business. You're going to end up making people so upset with you that they won't even play your games. Is that really what you want? I hope I beat this subject into the ground, and I hope I got my point across. Thank you for watching. This is Reign of Iron. Until next time.